Hey guys, and welcome back to Rio Bravo. And I'm talking again, still having a cold, but that doesn't matter for now. <laughs> um, yeah, it is a little bit later than I wanted to upload this video, but I had some struggles with at least Rio Bravo uh, today. Had several crashes, and I had to do some stuff over again, and was a little bit annoying but uh, I'm, I'm glad that it is finished now and uh, I don't know what happened I think it's my computer that is, is, is a little bit uh, I don't know it just can't handle the park I, I think I had a black screen well a black screen everything turned black instead of uh, except for the sky and uh, you may you may uh, might have seen the picture on my Twitter. I was really really sad uh, what was happening, and I'm glad uh, for some reason I could fix it. But still, I had some really weird flashing black areas sometimes, and I had to do the cinematic shots over again. But it's done, <laughs> thank God. And uh, I I just I'm not sure if the next episode will be. Um, easy for me to make so we just have to wait and see if i can at least for now we are um uh, making this uh go-karts track and for this area i wanted to make something a little bit more abandoned so like an abandoned western area with some cowboy animatronics in it and i think it turned out pretty well as i said i had to do some areas over like as if it's supposed to be like this but every time when i wanted to save the whole area then it just crashed and i had to do it over again so it might be that the cinematic shots are not really the same as what you see in the speed build right now but then again i think it looks still perfect well perfect i don't know if it's perfect but i think it looks pr quite nice for this uh, little area and there are um yeah there are lots of areas to come of course so i really hope you like this area if you have any ideas for uh, some other areas which is which should be of course western style i could do some sci-fi maybe uh, just let me know if you have any suggestions to add at this go-kart ride, of course. I also did write down some comments of you uh, from episode 24 and episode 25, uh, which I would love to respond to for now. Um, I have John Ziffrihills. He says, I would change the color of the letters in racing to a darker color. So he's talking about this station at this point. Uh, it blends into the white boxes a bit. Still really good work. Love the station. Well, thank you first of all, John. And you are so right about the letters. I changed the letters into a more yellowish color that suits the signs as well. I think that looks better, but uh, I'm sorry I, d I didn't put in any uh, cinematic shots of the station in this video. But you will see that later on, of course. But thank you for mentioning that. I, I totally agreed on that to change that. So, yeah. Uh, Dylan Greer says, uh, just an idea, but I think every western town needs a good old western style church with a tall steeple. Maybe add shops inside or some kind of attraction. I really, really like that idea. I, I don't know why I didn't came up to make a church myself. So thank you for mentioning that. I really should make a church somewhere in this park as well. Uh, Zach Granger says, It would be neat if you made a Spanish town that the drivers had to go through somewhere on the track. I really love the idea of a Spanish town, but I really don't think this will suit the whole western area. So I, uh, I will keep that in mind because I really would love to make a Spanish town somewhere in Planet Coaster, but won't be in this park, I'm afraid. But thank you for mentioning that idea, it's really cool. Um, let's see. Uh, from episode 25, we had Niwar. Watching you make the falling rock area, it occurred to me that you could cover the track in pieces of the track with actual boulders to make it look like the rocks had actually fallen and created it. To be honest, I was thinking the same thing, but, um, uh, like, okay, this is not a realistic park, but it would really annoy me if people would drive through the rocks. 
So, like, I wish we had something for this go-kart track, like the bins you can place on path that people avoided. If we could have something like that for this go-kart track as well, that would be so awesome. Then you could really play some rocks at the edges or in the middle of the road and, and it would look really funny. But then again, it would be so dangerous because people, if they would drive for real, they would probably hit a rock and you don't want that to happen like accidents in a in a theme park are not good for your theme park so no i i think i, I really love the idea but i i won't i won't place any rocks on the track i guess um we got sir nunas uh he says uh do get better soon well i am on my way <laughs> um it's just not the same without the commentary you always find a way to make me smile listening to you always brightens my day that is like so super sweet i'm like making a heart right now with my hands so visualize visualize that <laughs> thank you so much i really appreciate that thank you uh, Nicholas Di Martino says, I really enjoy your attention to detail. I noticed you hung the lanterns on the poles on the bridge part. It would look uh, would also look cool if you tried hanging those same lanterns along the rope that Rudy uses quite often in his designs. I could be uh, it could be a bunch of lanterns on a single rope and you could stream those above some of their busy pathways would look really cool at night just an idea i think all of your designs are amazing keep it up i love your videos well thank you nicholas i really really love that idea and i really like when i almost uh when i'm able to finish the whole park and we'll do the last couple of details i will definitely look into that so thank you so much for that awesome idea and uh, the last one is from Rasmus Olivstead. He says, love the race track, but I got to ask, wood on track, are you mad? <laughs> Wouldn't work in real life, but it really looks nice. You're very good at this. Always gives me inspiration to continue on my part. Thanks for a great video. <laughs> I already commented on that uh, con of yours, but yes, I am mad. And I really just wanted to do something. I think I always also saw someone commenting on that that there are real life go guard track with wood pieces i don't know i haven't seen them myself but it could be like in playing coaster it, it's like how i made the track it's it's almost impossible impossible to really place it as near as you can onto the track so you always have like this this gap where you rubble drive over and and yeah it doesn't really look that realistic i i, sh I know i know but I really just love to have more wooden uh, areas on this track because I really think that suits the theme even though it might not be realistic or maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> so guys, I really, really hope um, that I can continue this park. As I mentioned, uh, in May it will probably be the last uh, couple of days of May, I will have my new computer and I'm looking so much forward to that. Thank you for the awesome patrons who are helping me out, uh, supporting me with my Patreon. And um, uh, yeah, I really am looking forward to my new computer since this is getting tough. Well, the building itself still goes pretty fast, but it's, it's just the crashing. I, I think it's my memory that just can't handle the game right now and uh, yeah let's just all keep our fingers crossed that a computer will be soon with me and i can uh, record these videos in in a full screen mode and with more uh more quality that i am doing right now because this is the lowest quality <laughs> so but you guys already spotted that probably so yeah i'm really looking forward to the new computer and, and play some new games yeah so guys this is it my throat is hurting <laughs> and um thank you so much for your awesome support and um please tell me your ideas for this go-kart track post some awesome images or or google search results um of things you would like to see in this go-kart track and um like I'm, I'm talking like right now and it would be fun 
yeah, let's do that. Let's just, maybe you guys have some awesome workshop items or you uh, can make me some awesome workshop items, western themed or maybe sci-fi themed that I could use for some areas. I think that will be very cool um, and, and send them uh, to me. And you can find my email address at my YouTube channel with the information. And just send them to me. And maybe I can use them in the next episode. That would be so cool to have some uh, stuff of you guys in. And I will, of course, put the download link in the description of my video. Yeah, this is like seriously not planned, but I really like the idea. So, um, yeah, show me your stuff, guys. And I really hope that it will be so awesome to put it in my Rio Bravo uh, go-karts area. I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited. Wow. <laughs> cool. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.